Hello again. This is the second part of my tutorial um, um, in of my second tutorial in creating this scene here in Blender. So, in the last tutorial, if you haven't seen it already, I created a fork, glass, plate, and then I've also created a knife the same way as I created the fork. In this tutorial, I'm going to create the table, add a plane for the background and assemble the scene. So assign all the materials. So to create the table, I'm going to add a new cube. I'm going to scale it along the z-direction, grab it along the z-direction to about the height I want, scale x, scale y, and that sort of forms my tabletop. And then you go into edit mode, scale z a bit further, that's a bit better. Uh, like that. To add the legs, you could either add another cube um, and scale it down, add the legs like this, or you could use the same mesh and make it all one solid item, which is what I'll do for this tutorial. So I'll go to my top view, I'll press Z to make everything transparent. And I'm going to ring cut it once here. First to form the border. Which is the outer edges of the legs. And then to form the inner edges of the legs. like so. Next, I'm going to select these bottom four faces here, that one, and that one, and I'm going to extrude them and hold control down, and select the general length. Then I'm going to scale in the individual origins of each of these faces by changing my tool first to individual origins. And I'm going to scale them in just to give a taper to the edges of the legs, to the ends of the legs, so they form down at an angle, like so. So that sort of forms the general layout of the table. Very quick, very simple, not high detail as well. I might also cut in the edges of these corners, give them a nice bevel. I'm also going to add another bevel later on um, using a bevel modifier to give everything a nice bevel edge, but I want a more prominent bevel to the corners of the table. So I'm going to do that now, pause the video, and I'll be back soon. Continuing, I've done the other three corners of the mesh now, so I've done the other three corners just like so. To achieve that, adding that extra face there, all I've done is I've first deleted this first edge, deleted the vertices here, selected these two edges, press F to add a face there, selected these three edges, F to add a face, these three edges, F to add a face. So now the general layer of the table is done. I also want to add another bevel modifier, just give everything a smooth edge. Notice how the bevel acts up angled away from this bottom here. To fix that, I want to either ring cut each of these and drag that down, or I can select the bottom four faces here and extrude them once more, just a tiny bit to give more control. Like so. Last time I did this, it didn't want to show it for me in the video, but it does work. It doesn't want to show it for me again, but that doesn't matter. There's sort of the general layout of the table. And so now I shall save that and go and work on the scene.
So before I start working on the scene, I'll link all the objects to the scene. So I exit out of edit mode, I'll select the table, and I'll go control L to link, and I'll go to the scene. And I'll do the same for the plate. Fork. Knife. And the glass. If I go to my scene, I've got all the items, they're all ridiculously large. So what I want to do is I want to scale them all down. First I'll arrange them on the table where I want them. So Z um, into wireframe, I'll scale the plate down, about that size, I want it there. Scale the glass down even further. And scale the fork to about the same size. As the knife. Select these four items. I'll move them all so they're just sitting on the table. Like so. I also want to add a camera to the scene, a camera that I can render, like so. It automatically faces the direction I was facing, so I'm going to go 7. I'm going to grab the camera, I'm going to rotate it, I want it to be facing this way. I'm going to grab it on the Z axis, um, rotate along the local X axis, so X twice, and rotate along the local Z axis. So, if I render that now, it'll just come out as black because I haven't added a lamp. I'm just going to add a sun lamp and just drag it around a bit and I'm going to press F12 to render. The moment it's very bright, I might change that sun to just a point light with 10. I'll try 5. The moment everything's coming, the glass is coming out of solid, the fork isn't there. Ah, I know why the fork's not there. I'm going to unlink it. If you remember, I also had a curve attached to the fork. So I'm going to unscale it, ungrab it, I'm going to drag it up here, I'm going to get tab. I'm going to select everything, scale along the Z axis. Actually, I'm going to select this. Like so. Now I have my fork again. This time, instead of just linking the fork, I'm also going to link the curve. So I'm going to go Control L to scene, go back to the scene, I'm going to scale them both down. So it's scaling properly. And so it looks like it's in the right position. So it works. F12 again. This time I have a fork. I might just raise that up a bit. So set so both of these. Lift them up. There we are. Now I've got a fork. 
Now I'm going to add the materials. So for the cup, I'm going to add new material. I'm going to call it glass. I'm going to make it tangent shading, translucent so the light passes through it, transparency and mirror. I'm going to use ray trace for the transparency and I'm going to have the alpha 0 0.01 um, for the, no, the speculative 0 0.01 and the alpha is 0 0.05, no, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, like so. I'm going to change this to a light bluish color, like so, and I'm going to change the depth to 6. The same with the depth of the mirror to 6. Save the project again. For the table, I'm going to add a new material. I'm going to call it wood. I'm going to add a new text to that material. It's going to be an image or movie. And I'll just find that now. I'm just going to use a texture I used for something else. This texture I found on CG Textures. Um, I find it quite useful for finding textures. Now I'm going to add a material for the plate. I'm just going to make it a creamy yellow almost white like so the fork will be the same so sort of metal I'm going to make it give it a slight blue tinge and I might add a bit of mirror in there I'll just leave the depth too and I forgot to change the mirror There we are. And I'll apply the same material I applied to the fork to the knife. So I'll apply metal. There we are. And I think that's done. It'll take a, a while to render the glass because it has to calculate the reflections first. So that's sort of just the general layout of the scene. That's a very yellow plate, but that seems to work. Let's save again. Now I'm going to add a background image. So I'm going to add a plane the scene. I'm going to click the line to a view. I'm going to grab the plane, scale it up, scale on the X local, grab X local just to center it a bit, and I'm going to apply new material. I'm going to make it shadeless so that it doesn't take any influence from the light source. I'm going to add a new image or movie, open that, and that was this here. I'm going to press F12, it's going to render with the image or movie directly behind. At the moment it's cutting through the table halfway, so I'm going to move that further away and I'm going to rotate it so that the table looks like it's almost sitting on the water, which doesn't quite work, but it'll be um, good for demonstration. So, I'm just going to grab this out further. I think I want the camera drops down a bit. And just rotate it up a bit. Scale this as well. And we'll see how that goes. The table's very high in the scene, so I might go to 7 view, select both the camera and um, the plane. First, rotate them around the median point like so and grab Z so the table is just cut off there like so and that sort of develops a scene that can be worked with. Um, one thing you want to notice when using a background image is you want to take note of all shadow in the background image um, the quality of the background image and you just want to try and balance that with the quality of your drawing so this was only a quick rough scene. Um, I put the light source up about the same point as where the light source is for the background. So the light, the sun is about on the upper left, so it's casting its shadow over this peak over here, um, forming shadow here and still catching light here. Um, and so that's what I've tried to get to the table as well. This leg in here probably shouldn't be um, light; it probably should be shaded, but that doesn't matter. So thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment. Thanks.